Oh my god, so Blizzard has officially stated the upcoming changes to Symmetra, and let me tell you, they are crazy! Let's start with the minor changes. Her primary beam distance will be slightly extended, which is scary because the damage on her beam quickly charges up to 160 damage per second. I actually wanted this change as I'm sure many of you as well. Next, her turrets are getting tweaked. So instead of the stack of three turrets at one time, the max she will be able to put up are all six turrets. The idea is that at the beginning of a match, Symmetra can set up the way she wants, and in case she has to pull back, such as on a payload map, she will be able to put up all six turrets quickly. They even recharge faster. So instead of waiting 12 seconds for the next available turret to put up, it will now take 10 seconds. Now, things are about to get really crazy here. Symmetra will be the very first hero in Overwatch to have two types of ultimates. She will have her teleporter, which will actually have more health so it's more difficult to destroy and will also be mostly made of shields so it regenerates. But she will have a toggle option where she can choose between the teleporter or a shield generator. This generator will apply a significant shield to anyone within its massive range and guess what? It doesn't require line of sight. She can hide it anywhere and cover whole area, and everyone within it will have way more than just 25 shields. It wasn't specified how much shields, but it was described as substantial. Lastly, because of the new shield generator option, in her ultimate she will no longer apply shields to the team like before. That ability has been replaced entirely with a new one called Photon Barrier. It's very similar to Winston and Reinhardt's barrier, but functions very differently. Now I haven't seen how it works visually, and the way to describe how it works is a bit complicated, so I'm going to do my best to help you visualize how it works, based on their description. The shield is an elliptical shape that moves on a predetermined path. What it sounds like to me is that it'll be something similar to Maze Wall, where you can see the path of where it will form on the ground, set it, and watch it move back and forth like a rail shooter or something. It sounds like teammates will have to keep up with the barrier on its predetermined path and there haven't been any details yet on how much shields it actually has. So that's my best guess on how it works. So what do you guys think about these changes? For me, all I gotta say is, who said support heroes had to be healers? Well that's all for today guys, if you enjoyed the video be sure to share, like and subscribe to the channel. My name is Chit, and I approve this message.